is good afternoon uh today is april 24th monday 6:34 p.m. in new york 6:35 p.m. in new york yes i did not trade today uh, i'm sorry i am not trading these days because uh, there's something is going on and no trade is a good trade just to let you guys know no trade is a very good trade that means you're just protecting yourself i'm not trading because uh, i have seen some things which i did not like it again uh then uh, upcoming days it's going to be a fair day also and probably he might raise another 25 basis point probably he might won't raise a basis point because uh, the banking whatever the problem was they already put a bandage on it so they are like bailing out the banks secretly anyway uh, they're going to because they will not going to get the banks to go under because if they do then it will be a big crack in the whole economic cycle not only in america china everywhere the crack will be everywhere so uh, they know that very well so what you need to know about the stock market upcoming days and the crypto market basically dow jones transportation is up only 50 points not too much we are not out of the woods yet again uh, slow sequest is already like ready to move down but this has macd has little bit of room but i'm still kind of waiting you know that and if you go and check spy sp cash index if you put a if you put a trend line over here over here and put a trend line on the side it may be look like a bullish flag ready to go up uh looks like it wants to hold but there's a small bearish flag over here so upcoming days you probably might see uh, a down day because of the fed or um, you might see there's a pop in in the market also but this is very very tricky nobody knows what will going to happen next why i say that nobody knows what will going to happen next because the fed might increase the interest rate and the investor might put a u turn on the stock market because at that point uh we will be coming almost like 5% on the interest rate uh, that means you're holding uh if you're holding $100,000 in your bank the government will going to give you almost like $5,000 every year uh you know that's what it is so if you're a billionaire and all that means if you're holding like a billion dollars you know that's a lot of money again you know uh it's not like and without the risk it's like without the risk stock market is a risk s&p moved 22 23% you know in a good year basically but it's a risk but uh, uh, but uh, if the government is paying you from the from their own thing is like without the risk basically you know just keeping the money in the bank basically you know that's what it is so again uh, uh this is what i'm thinking there are a lot of other uh, investors are probably pretty much sure they are also thinking but the biggest thing to stay ahead of the market is like i'm not playing it because they might pop this on the fair day and fill up all the all the down to to go down basically and they might drop the market because they might pop and fill up all these put options or the sellers uh sellers orders and can come down crashing down because that can happen why i say the banks are the one who are like a biggest uh, movers in the stock market because the bank is one again controlled by the fed very much and uh, again uh, banks are the one who get the first knowledge you know because what the fed is thinking what his what he is going to do the next and everything because he controls the money flow for the banking industry and uh, so they got the letters and everything you know like it's like a everything they get the first knowledge in other words okay that's what i'm trying to explain you guys so it is a very very tough market at this point we have almost like a pointing to the double top right over here for the s&p cash market you know and uh, when it's like a double top it it comes down so because uh, this is and if you click over here it might be like a, almost like a triple top you know that's also can i can say that too because again this is the reason i'm not trading you know i want to see how this is like playing out 
how this is playing out very very important for me how this is playing out i don't want to give a donation for the market so you should not as well okay again please whatever information i provide you in this video i'm not guaranteed that you're going to make money so please do your own research i'm not a financial advisor or a broker okay so please trading is risky before you trade you should never put any money into risk if you cannot take the risk you should never put any money into the risk which you, if you're not ready to take the risk okay so let's go and check dow jones looks like the same like a bullish flag wants to go up but again you know it all depends just like apple apple is a big player again like i said yesterday it might come down a little bit here and there and it wants to go up uh, bitcoin i'm going to show you a different chart i don't want to show you over here because this is a bitcoin futures it doesn't show up properly over here so again bitcoin did not go anywhere because the smp is not going anywhere again you need to check spy and the bitcoin if spy goes up bitcoin goes up okay SPY goes up, Bitcoin goes up. If the Bitcoin goes down, SPY goes down because of there are a lot of ETF in US market regarding the Bitcoin. Okay, again, gold wants to pop up also. It doesn't uh, not doing anything. Tesla, the big player in our market also. Tesla came down three points. It was down five points today. I saw big orders, 30, 40,000, 50,000 people are moving out from Tesla. Okay. There's something going on also. They no doubt Tesla has a big, uh, big investor. Basically, Cathy is the biggest investor. She doesn't lose. Uh, she doesn't uh, run out of money. She have the investors' money. You know, like uh, and they have a big bet on Tesla. Have like almost like they're calling like somewhere like thousand uh, points in Tesla. You know, I'm just calling nothing on Tesla right now. <laughs> That's why it is seriously. You know, these big investors, they have a lot of money. They don't run out of money. So they are calling a big Tesla calls and everything because uh, Tesla has dropped their price in value. And that means they will go to the next someone who wants to buy Tesla. Probably pretty much sure they will go to buy Tesla because $7,000 they have reduced the price on their cars. So, you know, that's the reason they have a big time bet on Tesla. Okay. So again, e and S&P. Even as if this is a futures chart again, looks like the bullish wants to go up, you know, and it's not coming down, but it might come down a little bit here and there, no doubt. But nothing goes straight up, guys. Nothing goes straight up. But I want to see all these technical indicators are ready to go back up, which I don't see it. So that's the reason. That's the reason I'm still kind of like a, a little bit on the downside. I call a little bit on the downside because, you know, uh, it's not turning the way I want it to turn. And it's not going, it is turning more, it is like the slow cycle is like going downwards, but the S&P is still trying to hold up. That means again, more upside is coming, but I don't want to say that right now because there's a lot of orders I've been filling up right over here. So it all depends on, they are trying to make that move on the Fed day. That's what it is. They're going to move that market on the Fed day. These days, they are like on the on the sideway direction over here. Russell also doing the sideway direction. You know, like a, that's what I call it. Most likely, whatever I see at this moment in time, the market might pop. I, the other day I said like eighty percent the market might drop. Okay, that's what I said. But at this feeling, whatever I'm getting right now, the market might pop on the eighty-five percent upside. Okay, it all depends. Like I said, I'm a day trader. Again, I go by the day. If tomorrow, if I see the big uh, move on the upside, then I'm more bullish. You know, today I have like a little bit upside because it came down, came back up. That means they fill up the downside orders and ready to go up. That's what I feel. Because if you saw, if you go and check my other videos, that's how I trade. It drops, I buy it. I, when I came over here, I, I, I'm going to sell it right over here. That's what I do. Okay. So I'm like, I'm the, like one of the guys who's dip, uh, buying the dips every time, buying the dips. But right now I'm not buying anything. I'm just staying on the sideline because of the Fed, because of the interest rate. There's a lot of things going up in the market. So again, you know, do your own research. 
let's go and check uh, IWM Russell small cap basically and is also doing the sideway direction also filling up a lot of orders you know that can then one day uh, the, the Fed will going to say something and they gonna say like oh, even if he increase the interest rate the, the if the market moves up you know what happens like my if the market goes up and up that means they say like it's a good for the economy that's what will be the news the news doesn't come first the money comes first and then the news just to let you guys know first right now they are all filling up these orders they are all filling up these orders first the money came and then the news will going to come because they just need somebody to blame that's what it is the news is all about blaming game okay they going to blame the fed they going to blame the uh, biden government then they going to blame that uh, trump they going to blame everyone that's what it is if the market goes down they're going to blame biden <coughs> they they play the blaming game basically in other words you know what i want you guys to know about like you know like how to make money out of this how to make money that is the more important part let's check the oil oil came up a little bit okay but it's not going anywhere but have you seen the oil technical indicators is it might come down a little bit no, might fill up this gap. That's what I mean to say. Might fill up this gap on a fair day. Okay. Drop, 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 drop. Fill up that gap. And then this will going to turn around. And that's the time the oil is ready to go up also. Okay. But it all depends what the Fed is doing again. Okay. I'm not calling any crush. I'm not calling any bullish or bearish. But I'm still kind of like the neutral side of it. You know, because like the sideways is still running sideways. This is the Russell Futures. Let's check SQQQ. It's the technical indicators are moving up. But the SQQ is not moving up. You know, so again, let's check the VIX. It's all time low, you know, all time low, but wants to move up. Or less, we'll come to know on the Fed day, you know, how much money they have accumulated. Amazon came down. No doubt about it, came down, guys. That's what you go and check my other videos. What I said about the Amazon, it might come down. Ma Microsoft came down. Re check the technical indicators moving downwards. Okay, so these are the major players Apple, Microsoft, Tesla. You know, they are like the one moving. And we can check one more thing, uh, you know, one more thing, which is QQQ also. QQQ, let's check QQQ. Okay, guys, you see, technical indicators are coming down. Uh, MACD has already uh, turned around, but uh, but the stock is not coming down. That means they're they're feeling up a lot of buys. There are a lot of buyers and sellers, but at this point, what I feel, you know, these people are ready to take the market on top. Okay, I'm saying it because the price is not coming down. The price action. What I care about. The most is the price action. Price action is not coming down. The technical indicators are coming down, but the price action is not coming down. That shows us like the stock market is still like a holding a lot of money. We'll come to know exactly on a fair day what the Fed says and what the investors are really thinking about it. That fair day might pop up, no doubt. It might pop and they might fill up all the orders on top and they might then they might drop that is most likely possible okay most likely possible okay remember one thing so all this um, uh, all the uh, dark pool the uh, the uh, the private exchanges they have another job to do to fill up all those orders that means they are looking for their commission guys <coughs> everybody everyone work for their commission everyone work for their commission okay those private exchanges they have a big commission from the hedge fund, from the banks, from everywhere. You understand? So they need to fill up all those orders. If they, that's what they are thinking. If they put up the all, the all the orders on top, and then they're gonna drop it. That's like that. You know. Let's see. We'll let's wait till like what the Fed is doing, and till like next day. That's what I mean to say. You know, like because I don't want to trade right now, because they might they might shake you. They might shake you. They might put you out very quickly. And the algorithm is very, very smart, no doubt. Algorithm is very, very smart. 
and when i'm trading mostly have you seen my pattern of trading guys i trade around 11 to 12 do you know why most big boys are the one who goes for lunch 11 to 12 to till like one o'clock the algorithm is the one who's trading so i beat the algorithm basically what i'm doing is like beating the algorithm and big boys from goldman Sachs and all the other one can sneak to those uh, orders like you know like uh, because every trader is like going for a lunch the that's the reason you know like uh, they know there's a lunch time people go out they don't watch the computers but i like to trade at that point point you know like between 11 to like one o'clock that's my that's my that's my that's my trading time basically because uh, in, there's no big shark is coming but there are coming but they are like most likely looking for the individual stocks you know mo, you know because uh, most likely the S&P jump up and down let, let's just let me just show you what I mean S&P jump up and down okay let me show you what I mean exactly so let's go three day chart let's go to the three day chart so today S&P what really happened right over here uh, 930 930 930 okay there you go 930 they they took the market up 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 again they took the market up 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 and then dropped it this is what exactly I'm trying to tell you 930 okay with the big volume they just took the market on top and they sold it that's what I mean okay on the fair day it might happen the same type of a pattern they might take the market on top 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 when the fair is talking dump drop or they might take the market down 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 and then they might spike up and they might dump it again again you know but that's what they do so the the smart guys they know how to fill up the orders it's not only the smart guys first of all the exchange are the one they can just make up a volume they can just pump up the volume just to fill up their orders you understand and that's what exactly these people are doing right now they are just keeping the volume to fill up their orders so till like the fair day they might take the market on the sideways direction just to later on to dump it or might take it like a rocket ship okay that can be happen very most likely i can say that okay so let's just check bitcoin right over here guys this is a one day chart bitcoin this is a uh, this is a almost a six month chart yes this is a six month chart right now if you go and check the price of the bitcoin again i said it the other day it's not going anywhere because it's following the us market bitcoin is following the s p because there are a lot of etf in s p right now about bitcoin so it's not going anywhere people who are calling about bitcoin going like a 70 to 80 i do call it too but not right now probably another like a five to five to like seven years from now you know eighty thousand to like seventy thousand but i don't see that right now okay so right most likely the bitcoin might go up a little bit here and there but most likely i'm still kind of looking on the downside for the bitcoin I'm not like that much bullish on the Bitcoin, but the price is not moving anywhere. It's not giving a clear angle what the price wants to do. There's no clear sign about Bitcoin either. Okay, guys, you see this? This was like a bullish flag, but this came like a U-turn now. It has already turned into a U-turn and wants to, I feel it wants to go down. So again, be careful with your Bitcoin. If I were you, I'm just moving it out and keeping it on the side. You know, if it drops, very, very good, very well good, I can buy it again. If it goes up, it doesn't matter, guys. It will gonna go up. You understand? You're not losing anything. But it's better to lose in order to win. You know, it's not good to lose. It's good to win. If it drops, you got it for a more bargaining price. Again, you know, if it goes up, it's fine. It's fine. You know, but at least you're not losing that's that's how the mindset you're supposed to have you know because that that's how i have it in my mind right now don't get me wrong i'm not losing or i'm not making money but i'm not touching the market right now because i don't want to give a donation you know simple as that good trade is no trade <laughs> good trade is a no trade and market is always right these are the two rules 
because somebody took out the money that's the reason price dropped not because by accident okay somebody took out their money and that's the reason the price has dropped all right guys almost done so please uh, don't forget to subscribe hit a like button and please uh, share my video to your family and friends you know and uh, if you have some question regarding any of the uh, stocks or any type of uh, technical analysis feel free to email me at swiss capital gain at gmail.com swiss capital gain at gmail.com okay if you have any type of a question let me know i'm here i can answer it i can if you, you can put it in the comment below in the youtube also that's fine i can still answer your question all right guys thank you very much stay peace and always stay blessed bye